well done, Derek. Uh, fantastic win and uh, summarising maybe even looking at the last couple of minutes, I'd say this is the hardest I've ever seen long time. That Tatchy had a goal sprung up off the line there and pulled off that last save. How did you see it? I just, uh, just to be honest with you, I just saw a reaction and then um, Bush is, is, is top class people with class his head. But, uh, yeah, he was very edgy towards the end there. Um, just thought he just did enough, I think, to get over the line. Um, first half, I thought we were, you know, I think we were pretty much in control of the game. Um, happy at half time. But look, there about the second half, set up a little bit differently and just asked more questions, obviously, I suppose. And, just really happy the way we responded because it looked like the momentum had it was going towards the air and I just think our lads kind of um, settled back down when some of our key players came on and you know I think got our shape back. I think we lost our shape maybe for a while there in the second half and but our work rate all through was outstanding than we thought and that was supposedly the maybe the difference in the end. When Shane had done a bag down ball, it did look as if Angela was swinging towards the as well. How did you see it at that stage? But to be honest, we're kind of like Playing a top class team, we knew we were going to get that those kind of challenges and we you know you might have seen a goal or two and it was about how we reacted and I think that was very pleasing. I think you know we didn't panic. Um still managed to work the ball out pretty well. Our work rate didn't drop. Um and I think that was the most important thing and created, you know, the last inside obviously going to stand and we we won you know really important balls in there and you know the work rate right throughout the team I thought and the last that came on obviously then. And that was indicative of the way even Giga was going back and he's going back nine times. I mean, you know, work rate has been the mantra of Kenny for quite a while with Brian and now with yourself. And I think that's encouraging for you to see that. Yeah, no, for sure. Look, we, we, we have to have it. And um, look, TJ is my example. He's doing it a long time. And, you know, to see him looking back at Concord, he's saying, lead by example. They're fantastic. You know, players over the years, Kenny's still doing it. And see leading, you know, to be leading by example in terms of work rate. The bench was obviously important today, and not the first time. We've said this to you all the year, and uh, they all come on and all made valuable contributions in, in different ways. Yeah, no, they did for sure. They all made a really positive impact and brought a freshness to it, and maybe got our set up a little bit better and got us set up a little bit better and gave on a few more options as well as some buckets as well. But, um, yeah, I know some things that work, some things that don't, but like all those players that came on, I think Sean Farm and Trent as well, and you know, we found it hard to pick the 15, and it just shows that. You know, we have a competitive squad and um, but you need that impact on players to come in. Well, you always want to play if you bought around Tony Kelly today, given the red back last year, because sometimes it doesn't always work again. Did, did that enter your mind? I know it did. I mean, you look at all options and it wouldn't be any word backs, to be honest. It's, it's, it wasn't just the right deal with Tony Kelly, it was a collective. And, you know, he can't be expected to do it on, you know, by himself as well. Fantastic player, but they have excellent colleagues as well. And I was there to Tony Kelly. And so I think from from one to, to seven, eight, nine, I think in particular, I think we managed pretty well. Um, so overall, we really happy with them. Derek, just, just a word on Avery Mullen. What did he have to do to get back on the pitch? It seems like a fairly miraculous thing to recovery. I'd say he went through a fair bit of pain to get out there today. Yeah, look, Adrian, Adrian wants to play two weeks after. You know, that's Adrian. And uh, he's been really unfortunate this year with injuries. I suppose he missed a couple of Ireland. Uh, fortunate just to get that, you know, that out of Mexico Park. But, yeah, everything he could do, he was doing it, and um, it's nice to see him getting through today and made a big contribution. So, Derek, were you surprised what did you set up for the Super first half? A little bit, a little bit. You know, we haven't seen that this year with him, and I, I, but um, I suppose the change before the match, you kind of had an idea that would be the case, but um, you know, I think we caught pretty well with it. Um, you know, I suppose they were in a strong position on the back half, I have to leave but you know, they. Changed things around the second half, got an over on us and posed my questions on us. I think at that stage, but, you know, we, we just saw through and just managed to live. Claire gave you a gift of a goal there when Claire were in the ascendancy and they gave you a gift of a goal really and it changed the whole complex of the game. Then he took and he took that with, with open arms, you know. Yeah, no, that's Taylor's. I mean, it was, um, I think we were very close in the first half to get a couple of goals. I think a couple of times maybe we were just, you know. Maybe fouls at different times when we just looked like it was the last man. So um, I think we're a threat the whole way through, and look at that comes from putting pressure on, on the backs of the goalie as well. So look, we have to take it and we did. Derek, just on order, obviously it's never the end of time. 
we go on well, what kind of what kind of a game or how are the next two weeks going to be prepared for that? Yeah, look, it's not like in, in terms of a trend, it's not a huge amount that you can do now, it's about getting the bodies right, the heads right again, the massive challenge, they're a fantastic team. Um, obviously both the four and all and rightly so they've been they've been uh form team for many years now and um, that's the challenge that's ahead of them ahead of us and you know, we'll move forward. Or Cody kind of implied Derek that you were somewhat written off in the build up, not being maybe favourites for the game. Was that something you felt as well? Um I wouldn't be paying too much attention to it to be honest, but I think it's fair to say I don't think, you know, maybe Sam's last year, I think we were kind of outside uh, probably you know, the bottom four maybe to get to the final uh, for most people, but you know, we're in the final now, but you know, we're not just happy with that, we want to go and perform in those weeks. And just that, that day down in Parky Queen, the league final, I presume this is exactly where you wanted to be when you were looking forward to after that day, probably a couple of dark days after the league final. Yeah, definitely, but I, uh, prefer to be in the final challenge myself than, you know, the other way and sit not, not being in the championship. I mean, that's where you play sport, you want to be challenged, you want to take it on, that's where we are, and that's what we do. Yeah, look, it's brilliant, right? Look, I, you know, it's obviously um, been very satisfying this year. Really enjoyed it. We've a great team, uh, squad of players, and management team. We really enjoy it, um, and you know, we enjoy the challenge as well. So look, we're in the final. It's about getting ready for that now and getting ready to focus on the performance. Thank you.